Right, in this next video, we're looking at uh, just adding some more configuration to this window. Okay, so we'll uh, just going to close the shell there. And in here, I'm going to add a couple of extra bits to this basic window configuration. So here you notice that we can do win.mainloop. <coughs> now, this is a sort of method that you add on to this identifier that we have here. So I can do uh, one uh, win.title, for example. You can do that kind of thing. Um, we could also do uh, the background color of it and the size of it. So we could do win dot configure and do that. And we could also do win dot geometry. Okay, so there's quite a few things that you can do with this. Now, what we should probably do is, for the moment, actually just label all of these up with um, some um some comments here so i'm going to inline comments usually put two spaces and then a hashtag and then we'll say um so this is just the, the window the gi window and this is the uh, sort of the program um, um sort of taskbar at the top this is the bit where we'll have the title um, so we'll just say a window title right and then in here you can put that so put that in either single quotes or double quotes and here I'm just going to say uh, computer science quiz right and then in the configure you can configure the background so you have to use BG um, for the background so you do BG and then if I just do for example in quotes you do the hashtag and you have to get a hexadecimal color code so essentially you're going to have to look that up um, on the internet now there is a, a different websites that you can do for that so for example here I can just go to um, hexadecimal color picker and then you can get this and pick a color Right, so I'm actually going to just do this green one for now. So you can see you can um, pick that, but you can move this along and get the different colors you want and sort of find that kind of hexadecimal color that you're looking for. Right, so here I'm just going to paste that in to there. And then the geometry. So you can set a geometry for your window, like the size of the window. Um, We'll do that, but we'll probably make our program that you can actually expand it, but we can have some defaults. So I'm going to just do 600 by 400. Okay, so that's some basic stuff there. So we'll just say um, here, background color. Although you might want to put an image later on, but you know, if the image is lost or doesn't appear, at least you'll have a background color there. And then here we will put window size. Right, so just run this then and save. And it's going to come up. Right, so there's my window. Okay, so that's just the basics of what you can see. Now you can see at the top here in this like um, taskbar bit, it says computer science quiz, right? So that's what we did. And then the window by default started off being bigger, of course, as well. And of course, in Windows or on a Mac, you can notice that you can do this kind of thing. So um, you can also grab from a corner and make it bigger. So expand it and make it smaller. So we will probably want to do that where we will make our program uh, that it can, it can be bigger or smaller on the screen, which is quite often what you want to do in a program. Right, so uh, the next thing what we want to do is just try and get some information on on the screen, okay? So what we'll do is we will uh, create a label of some sort and this win main loop, keep this always at the bottom here, okay? Uh, so we will do something like a title, a title frame. So we're gonna put stuff into frames and this will be a, a frame like that. So this would usually, if you imported this differently, it would be like that, take enter dot frame, but we don't have to put that. 
So this bit title, this uh, this is an identifier. I've just made that up, okay? And let's leave a space there. And then I'm gonna have to say where this is gonna go. So title, frame dot place. And this place is used to, to, to put it onto my screen. So I'm, I'm making a frame for my window. Okay, so this frame needs to go inside this window, as you can see, this I've said when. And then here I can do a background color. So we've got a background color that we're using here for the background of the whole program, but I'm gonna use a different background color. So here I'm just doing, I'm just gonna do uh, hexadecimal black, right? So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, to give me a black for that frame. Right, now, when you're placing stuff, quite often, there's, there's different ways of doing this. You can use, you can put the, these things using pack, like that, and you can also use dot grid, right? But as we're gonna use this so that it expands, we're gonna use dot place, and we're gonna make this you use a, a couple of attributes for this, which would be relative width and relative height. So relative to the size of the window. So basically this will be relative to the size of the parent window, right? So the, the window is 600 by 400, but if you make it bigger, our relative width and height of this frame also wants to get bigger, all right? So we'll say rel width, and this is a percentage, but you do it with a decimal point. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna just say one is like for 100, okay? So that would be 100% of the width. And then we do, we can do rel height. Now, the rel height, the relative height, I'm gonna put 0 0.08. So this is like, if you imagine 0 0.1 would be like 10%, so this would be 8% of the, whatever the screen is, okay? So now what we can do is just try that out to see what you get. All right, so you can see I've just got this little frame at the top here and it's a black bar. Now if I make it bigger, you can see it's actually relatively, the height has got bigger according to the screen. The width, <coughs> well the width is just keeps, keeps getting bigger as, as you pull this along, right? So that's, quite nice that you can do it. Of course, if you make it smaller, it squeezes it too. Okay, so we've got that frame. Now what we can do is we can put stuff into the frame. So what we will do is we will uh, put, say, uh, a main title. Now, you notice the way we give this an identifier name? <coughs> we give that identifier name here because we're gonna to refer to this frame. If we had to use just frame by itself, we wouldn't be able to refer to it. But here we've got title, we call called it title frame. So what I'm gonna do is create a label, but this label, I'm not gonna to need to refer to it. I'm not gonna to need to change it. So I'm just gonna say label. So instead of saying like main title equals label, I'm just gonna say label, right? And uh, when you do the labels like this, you can actually, you can just do dot place on the end, like that. Instead of title frame is a frame, title frame dot place, right? And here we're just saying label dot place, okay? Because I can't um, put underneath label dot place uh, separately because I haven't given it an identifier name, all right? So that's the reason why it has to be all together like this, okay? Right, so what we wanna do is I'm gonna copy that and put that saying that this label is gonna be inside that black frame that I've just created. Okay, then I can put some text into it. Text is equal to, and I'm just going to say um, computer science. And then what we can do here, if we don't want this to expand to go too long out this way, if, if you do a comma for all your attributes, so you can see the way I've done title frame, and then I've got the text. So here I can just press enter, and this will go underneath after the, after the comma. So I could have done it up here, but there's no need as uh, it's not going off the side, off, off, off to the right too far. But you essentially don't want to go too far off past this point when you're writing your code because it just then makes it a little bit harder to read. Okay, so after this comma, 
I can just do the next line again. And um, we can set things like uh, fonts and we can anchor this label to be in a certain position and so on. Okay, so what we'll do, we will do that. We'll do an anchor. Okay, so I'm going to anchor it to be um, in the center. Okay, so uh, center would be written like that in caps. And then uh, you could do left or right in capitals to anchor it to be in the left or the right. Okay, and then in the place, I'm going to say the relative x. So this is different from the width. Okay, so I'm saying the relative x position. So we've got x, which is the um, uh, sort of going horizontally across, and the y uh, relative y, which would be going down the way. Is now you either do or don't have to define the, the these right. So I'm just going to do actually the relative x, and I'm just going to say that to be zero. Okay, you can do zero point zero, but I'm just doing uh, zero for that. Uh, so there's zero, and then I'm going to say the height of this. So the relative height. Of this within my um, within my frame is going to be one, right? It's one hundred percent, okay. And uh, then we can just try it out, see what it looks like. Right, so I'll run that. Okay, so there it is. Right now, you can notice, of course. It almost looks like a button of some sort in this, just because the background hasn't been set for it. Now, this is the this is actually a little bit of a drag or a little bit problematic sometimes when you're doing this, because what you might want to do is set a variable with the background, a general background that you want in the foreground for all of your uh, for your whole program. So at the moment, we'll do that just before we go any further. So up here. I'm going to set it just above win.configure because if I want to set the background here to be the same as the background for everything, I won't for the moment, but I'll just do it for this bit. So we'll say something like uh, foreground color. So FG color, let's call that. And we'll just put that in quotes. And then we'll do BG color and put that in quotes. Right, so this will be the foreground I'm just going to do foreground would actually be the text or font of um, of the, the the font color. Okay, so I'm going to actually just say that that's going to be <coughs> um, a symbol, and then let's just do white. So white is a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six Fs, and then the BG color was black, right? So I want to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then I can put a comment here. Um, for, uh, generally, it's the font color, okay. And this would be background color, okay. Right, okay. So now I can refer to these rather than the actual color, okay. So here I've got this one for my title frame. So I'm just going to put BG color instead in here. So BG is equal to BG color. And then for this bit as well, for my label, I want to add those bits. So I'm going to do it after anchor <coughs> um, to a comma. So comma there, and I'm just going to say uh, for, foreground. Foreground is equal to, and I'm just going to copy that. And then comma, and then BG is equal to BG color. Okay, now you notice why I'm copying these identifier names because this is better to copy it. <coughs> so, what have we got? This is actually, a, I mean, this is what we call a variable. And this is the identifier name for the variable. And what is it holding? A string. Okay, a string of characters. But that string of characters is being used with as a hexadecimal color code. And then I'm using those hexadecimal color codes in here. Now this is the good way to do this because if you then later on decide oh, I don't want to use black for my background or white for my text, you can just change it up here and it will change it everywhere within your program. <coughs> okay, so we can uh, run this again. Run module. 
and there you go all right so you can see that that's coming out white and the background of that label is also uh, black like my title frame okay now if i expand it you can see the relative height is sent is, is kind of centralized here which is good